Today, we are, we are going to make a summary of interference and diffraction. So, we have three cases. Single slit diffraction, double slit interference, which is also known as Jiang's double slit experiment. And the third case is a diffraction grating. Let's look at the pattern, what you get for a single slit diffraction. The pattern from a single slit diffraction looks like this. There is a bright center fringe and also you have a series of bright fringes on both the left and right side. However, uh, there is a special feature. The central bright space is wider than the bright space beside the center. So this, the width of this center bright fringe is wider than the bright fringes on the sides. How much wider? It's two times. From the dark on the left to the dark on the right, this width is the central bright width. This is two times the width between the number one dark and the number two dark. It's two times. If you have a double slit, you, if you have a two slit interference fringe, then the pattern is different. The pattern is like this. You see the bright space and the dark space are equally spaced. The center bright is not wider than the bright space on the, both, on the two sides. They are equal, the widths are equal. The pattern is like this. And for the third case, you have a diffraction grating. And the pattern from diffraction grating is the same as the double slit. In other words, the bright space are evenly, uh, has, a, has the same width. Okay. Now, to do calculation, you need a formula. And I suggest you can use only one formula for all the three cases. The one formula is this. The one formula is W sine theta equals M lambda. What is W? If you are doing single slit experiment, the W is the width of the single slit. If you, do, uh, if you are doing double slit experiments, then W represents the spacing. How, what is the distance between the two slits? The spacing between the two slits is called W. If you are doing diffraction grating experiment, then what is W? W is the space, or you say the diff distance between the neighboring two slit. So a diffraction grating contains many, many parallel slits, many, many. They are equally spaced. And the spacing between two neighboring slit 
is the W. So you, you can use the same formula for all the three cases. So that is the meaning of W. Lambda is of course very obvious. It's this wavelength of the light. What is M? M can be one, can be two, can be three, and so on. So go to the pattern now. M equals one means the first dark fringe. M equals two means the second dark fringe. Here, I indicated M one, two, three, four. I in indicated that. However, for double slit experiments or grating, the M is this. The so zero, M equals zero is the center bright, and M equals one is the first bright on the left side or on the right side. So, M means either dark or bright. In single slit diffraction, M means dark. In double slit or grating, M means bright. So I, I have explained the meaning of W and M. What about theta? Theta is this. You put either a single slit or double slit or grating here in this position. This is the, this is the position you put the slits or grating. And then you have a screen which is at some distance from the slits. And on this screen, you see the pattern, right? Like this one, like this one, right? You see the pattern. And what is theta? Theta is, you, you draw the center line from the slits, and if you want dark or bright, you join this fringe to the center of the splits, and then this, this angle is called theta. So this formula, the letters in this formula means this and this, you see, W, Theta and M. You can use one formula for all the three cases. So this is my summary. But you need to remember, for single slit, M represents a dark, dark fringe. For double slit or for grating, M represents the bright fringe. That's the only difference. The formula is the same. Today I just want to introduce or I want to make a summary of the three cases using only one formula. And when I have another chance to do the same topics, and I will give you some examples or work examples. But this is only for today. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.